Hello, this is a video of how to uh, fit the Simcon Labs uh, VGA panel to an HP 8563E Spectrum Analyzer. Now I'm going to do this in several parts. This first part is covering uh, fitting the actual VGA display to the front panel of the uh, Spectrum Analyzer. Uh, first thing I've actually done is uh, well, I've disassembled the whole thing, that's going to be in a separate video because uh, it's quite messy and it's basically following the uh, actual service guide to uh, remove the front panel and the A2 processor board. I'll do the A2 processor board um, assembly in a separate video. This, is just, this video is just covering the uh, front panel assembly. I've took the trouble to actually do a um, check the contents of the actual uh, kit supplied to make sure I've got everything. Uh, I've double checked the part number of the A2 processor board to make sure I follow the correct procedure in the in the notes, and I've put the actual uh, fasteners into separate, small separate bags so I can um, figure out separate things into different stages. So the first stage is to actually um, remove and um, remove the four socket screws at the corners of the CRT bezel. So I'm going to do that first. I've got um, Torx drivers here. This is the bigger one. So this is what I'm going to remove all four of these screws initially. Best to just remove all four and pull the bezel off completely. I'm very careful with the glass because it could get scratched or I could get damaged in some other way. So I'm going to remove the bezel. I can remove these three. See, these have got O rings on, so the O rings need to be returned. So I'll put this one side for, for a moment, carefully remove the press from the underside underneath to so slightly lift it like so. Put it to one side, and then I'm going to carefully with a small screwdriver well holding my fingers just remove the orange so that one that's one side do the same with this remove the o-ring gently make sure it doesn't crack This one stays where it is. So gently remove the O ring. Gently because otherwise it'll go flying off and you'll lose it somewhere. So that's that bit done. Put that to one side again. Keep this, this one and its o-ring in place, making sure this goes into the right orientation. These are the switches, so these line up with these buttons here. 
Now I'm going to get some um, Now I'm going to get some isopropyl alcohol onto a kitchen towel and I'm going to give the glass a quick clean Make sure it's, there's no marks on it. Clean up both sides. Just to be careful you don't drop the screen. You don't obviously you don't want to find it afterwards that when you've assembled it that there's finger there's marks on the uh so the best thing to do that now. Try not to touch the loop the see how much dirt's coming off. Now we'll give it a let it to dry for a bit. Dry cloth. It's quite clean. Place it to one side on the cloth. Now, when putting this back in, you'll notice that there's a silvery side on here. That silvery side goes downwards. So you place it very carefully on back on there. Make sure it's centered. Now you can remove the Three M4 by twelve socket screws from the bag that you prepared earlier. If you remember that screw is kept in, so you put these one at a time. Put the new screws in there and put the. Put the O-ring on, gently, very gently roll it towards the end. Just gently so you don't damage the O-ring because these, you might be able to get hold of new ones but why buy new when you can the original is if you put it as far as possible to the end because your idea is for this to be to return the screw you can push it perhaps if you've got slightly longer nails so I'll do for that. You can choose the new screws instead of the old ones that you just removed. <laughs> the o ring. Like so. I'll just use two fingers and just push it down really. Really. 
Schon mal in. Ist ja wieder. Und these are slightly longer than the originals. That's why we're putting new screws in. This is the last one. So we put the last o ring on. So carefully throw it on. This, these are the probably to stop moisture getting to the actual instrument from outside. Give me the and such. Just put some on the start for a minute. And now you can get the old screws, put them back into the, the bag, and keep these for as spurs for the any other instruments you've got. Put that to one side. And then making sure this is the right way around. That's up the uh, top left hand corner. And then place this back on the uh, carefully. Just be careful when reassembling this to make sure the threads and things are cross threaded to gently if there's any resistance you probably cross thread it so back it out again until you get a nice let's turn it proper. Diagonally, as if you was doing a cylinder head on a on an engine, if you wish. This appears to be running okay. It's maybe a bit tight, but must be okay. So that's we don't all the sight in these. First stage done. 